way to the end of the world, but to them, the politicians in Argentina sitting in Parliament right now, who are about to lose their seats, the countdown clock is counting down the time until they're all employed by fossil fuel industries. And to accept the award on behalf of Argentina is Martin Weinstein. Where's Martin? Yeah! Give a big boo for Martin! <laughs> Martin, how do you feel? A little hot here, so I would take this card. <laughs> are you about to say that climate change doesn't exist? Ooh, I don't know, really. Like last year we nationalized uh, fossil fuels plants, and this year we're nationalizing a coal plant. I don't know what's happening here. We're going exactly the opposite way. What are you going to nationalize next? Mm, I don't really know. Then beef. <laughs> beef. Excellent. The next source of uh, a fossil, f oh, the next source of methane. Fantastic. Why don't you take a stand on the gold? But we're not finished yet because uh, one that is only, only one half of the story. Next is my home country, the land of endless beaches, sun, and plants for the world's biggest coal mine of all time. There it is. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Last night, Australia's Foreign Minister, Julie Bishop, spoke at a side event hosted by Indonesia, where she said the following. These words came out of Julie Bishop's <laughs> mouth. Coal will remain critical to promoting prosperity, growing economies, and alleviating hunger for years to come. <laughs> You're welcome, poor people. Here you go, have some coal. Hand out some coal to these poor people. Yes, delicious coal. <laughs> Yummy, delicious coal. Oh, man. oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat that coal. <laughs> you know, in France, you have a saying, let them eat cake. Uh, but in Australia, we have a saying, let them eat coal. Uh, and I'm not kidding. This is, okay, this is the best part about this. She said this at an event co-hosted by Indonesia called Pathways to a sustainable, low carbon and climate resilient economy. Uh, I actually think she got mixed up and I actually think she presented this, she thought she was going to talk at a place called Pathways to a Sustainable Low Carb Economy. Uh, but, uh, no, no, it wasn't right. Just like Argentina, Australia backed 1.5 degrees and admittedly, because they thought no one else would do that, um, yet the Australian government still supports the construction of the largest coal mine in the southern hemisphere right on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. In Australia, we love big things. The big banana, the big prawn, the big sheep, the big knob. <laughs> so we are excited to be adding the big coal mine. This is what it would look like if it was in Paris. Fantastic, look at that. Looks like a coal turd, doesn't it? Um, fantastic. Um, Julie Bishop's former boss once said, coal is good for humanity. The truth is, coal isn't good for humanity. It's not even good for coal company shareholders. So Australia and Argentina are two lumps of coal in a pit. And the sad thing is, that's not really unique. You know, there are a lot of countries here who have got a lot of similar projects on the go. But both these countries are two-faced at this conference. Both are promising big things, but both are sabotaging the world. So can I get an Aussie, 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 ole, ole, ole? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Ole, ole, ole! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Ole, ole, ole! Aussie! Ole, ole, ole! Aussie! Excellent. Now to receive the award is the one and only leader of the Greens Party from Australia, Senator Richard Dinatale. Bring, bring the award over as well. We need a photo up for, for the Senator. Come nice and close. Now, Richard, it's been a good week for Australia. Uh, we were recently named the third worst, worst developed country in the world on climate change. We're right up there with um, Kazakhstan and Saudi Arabia. How does this make you feel? Well, last time we were up there with Kazakhstan was because they had more women in their cabinet than we did. But I've got to say, try, try the coal with some peanut butter. It's much tastier. It goes down a lot smoother. Yeah, it does. Um, what, kind, what does Julie Bishop serve this up, up, serve a plate of... When, she's, when you go over to Julie Bishop's house, how does she serve coal to you? Um, with the death stare. <laughs> if you know Julie Bishop, you know what that means. Well done. Senator Richard Dinatale. You can stand on the stand on the gold podium. Make way. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for day, uh, for day nine of uh, Fossil of the Day. Give a big boo for everyone here on stage. <laughs> up in the front, guys. Up in the front. Where's Cole? Uh, where's uh, Paul? Uh, 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 Cole? Uh, Colin, Colin, I've been in all my jokes mixed up. Stand, stand, stand next to Richard. Richard, you, you deserve to stand, stand on the top one. 
And then Col oh, Colin, hop on the small one. Great, fantastic. Uh, any media want to come down and ask us any questions, go for it. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, 6.15, uh, for who will win Fossil of the Day tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Big round of applause for all our people up here today. And big thank you to Cam.